Hey, how you doing guys? It's Henry and uh, earlier today I was actually on the EA UFC forum and uh, one of the things that they were talking about was uh, the controls, the controls in the different MMA games that have been out, what kind of controls the game should have, you know, should it be more like UFC on the Street 3 with the buttons for striking and the analog stick for grappling or similar to EA MMA where you had the buttons for grappling. Or should the game just have both of them, you know? Now, this is one of those topics that always ends up being a huge argument that never ends. So, I'm just going to say this. If something is not broken, don't change or try to fix it. Now, personally, after playing EA MMA Fight Night, UFC Undisputed 3, the controls that I think are the most suitable for an MMA game. And I'm not talking about boxing now. I'm talking about mixed martial arts is the controls used in UFC Undisputed 3. Don't change it. Don't change it. It worked. I'm talking about the buttons for striking with the left and right triggers for special attacks and the analog stick for grappling. Now, I could go on with this forever and tell you guys why I prefer this, okay? But I'm just going to give you guys two reasons. Number one, the UFC Undisputed 3 controls expressed realistically the complicated nature of both striking and grappling. Now, striking is usually less complicated than grappling. Actually, grappling is twice as complicated as striking. So why dumb it down to the point that all you need to do to perform an action as complicated as a transition is press a single button? Why would you do that? In UFC Undisputed 3, if you want to transition, all you got to do is spin the stick in the direction that you want to transition. You can even stall transitions to mess with your opponent's timing, but you can't do that with buttons. You can't get creative in there. But with the stick, you can stall, fake, pretend to transition to the left or switch and go to the right. You can posture up to land hard shots. You can posture up. Pretend to throw a strike, make your opponent block, and then transition right away. Man, you can do so much. So much you can do with that stick. But with the buttons, you can't really do that. You can't do much. All you gotta do is press that button and, and your character just transitions. It just dumbs down grappling. And grappling is extremely complicated. Now, the second reason is that people are used to this. This, is, this right here is what people are used to. Most people who will buy EA UFC are players that love the UFC Undisputed 3 controls. It's not a secret. You know, every once in a while I come across people who want to have the stick for, for, for striking and the buttons for grappling, you know. But what's funny is that half these guys are Fight Night guys. Like, oh, well, Fight Night had the best controls. Yay, so EA should make the next UFC game with Fight Night controls. Like, what the fuck? What the fuck? We're talking about MMA, not boxing, okay? We're talking about mixed martial arts, not boxing. The best controls for EA UFC will be the controls they used in UFC Undisputed 3. The stick for grappling, buttons for striking. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. UFC Undisputed 3 controls, button for strikes and stick for grappling. Or buttons for grappling and stick for strikes. Let me know what you prefer and I'll see you guys in a few days. Keep yourself safe. Dos Junior Dos Santos is the new UFC heavyweight champion of the world.